Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Identify the slope and y-intercept. So here we have 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals 0. We stated that the value in front of x is our slope. So if we look at this, it's going to be easy to mis misinterpret the fact that the value here in front of x is equal to our slope. So we're going to think that our slope is equal to 2. But there's a problem with just identifying that. Keep in mind that we've said that this only works if the value or of our expression is in the form y is equal to mx plus b. And we don't. We don't have that. We have a whole bunch of values here, a whole bunch of terms. But it's not in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. So what do we need to do? Well, we want to try to rearrange our equation so we can fit it in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Trying to identify the slope from this would be a little more difficult. So what we have to do is we have to rearrange to rearrange our equation to look like that. So rearrange your equation. Isolate your y value to the left of the equal sign and bring all other terms to the right of the equal sign. So here is 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals 0. We want to convert it to y is equal to mx plus b. So we have 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals 0. We have the equation 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals 0. We want to write it down in the format y is equal to mx plus b. Notice here I've rewritten the equation, the expressions, um, to fit in line with our y value. So what we want to do is we want to keep this 3y on this side of the equal sign and in turn bring everything else to that side of the equal sign. So let's continue to rewrite this. So we have 3y, which we keep on the left side of the equal sign. We're going to bring this 2x over, and it's positive on one side. When we bring it over to the other side, it becomes negative 2x. We bring the, the negative 9 to the other side of the equal sign. It becomes positive 9. Now, we have the value here. 3y is equal to negative 2x plus y. We don't want this 3 value. We do not want this. We, want, we need to get rid of it somehow because our expression is y equals to mx plus b, not 3y or 7y or 9y, whatever number in front of y is. We want y isolated. We want it as an individual term with the, ter with the value 1 in front of the y. So when isolating for y, make sure that you divide out any number values that are with y. How do we do that? Well, we divide all terms, every single term in our expression by that exact value. So we want to get rid of this number 3 that is in front of y. So what do we do? Well, we're going to divide this by 3. And as we said, well, the reason why we do that because, well, 3 divided by 3 is going to leave me with y. But remember that in math, Whenever we, whatever we do to one side, we must do to the others. And that pretty much continues here, dividing all terms by the value that was in front of y. So we divide it here by 3, which means we need to divide this term by 3, and we need to divide this term by 3. So what we have, this value here is now, uh, this minus 2x over 3 is going to represent our slope. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this in fraction form because 
this value here, the numerator is going to give us our rise. This denominator is going to give us our run. So we're not going to divide out and, and write it down in a decimal format. And over here, positive 3 divided by, sorry, positive 9 divided by 3 is going to leave me with positive 3. So 9 divided by 3 will just leave me with 3. So in other words, the slope now of this equation is negative 2 over 3. Remember what we said? That the slope is the value that is in front of x. Notice how we do not include the value of x in our value. And our y-intercept is positive 3. 